Africa is said to be home to some of the world's fastest growing economies. And it is on that note that I welcome you to this interview segment where we will be taking a look at Africa's digital ecosystem. And to discuss this with me is a chairman of Digital Africa Consult, Dr. Evan O'Hara. Welcome to the program. Thank you very much. Thank you. From an economic perspective, what do you think is the continent's biggest asset? Well, um, to me, Africa has a lot of potentials. And Africa has a lot in terms of assets. I am not one of those that believe that the assets Africa have are mainly natural resources like oil and gas or like minerals. I believe that the strength of Africa, the critical assets of Africa lies in its people. The rest of the world today have a mostly aging population, but here in Africa our population is uh, youthful. In fact, somebody calls most of those uh, people in Africa as people that belong to the cheetah generation. What that means to me is that um, Africa has the potential to be part of the digital revolution. Because the digital revolution is mainly to do with knowledge where, mainly to do with people using their knowledge to create wealth for society. The richest countries in the world today are not necessarily those that have natural resources. They are those that have all kinds of um, good people in terms of people that make use of their brains. To what extent would you say we have been able to maximize this potential? We have not been able to harness it, but it's there. And the fact that it is there is now obvious to a lot of people in Africa. Um, a lot of members of our youth today are participating in the digital revolution. A lot of them are internet savvy. A lot of them make use of telephones, especially, especially things like smartphones. And a lot of them are helping to develop content for the new internet and smartphone-based uh, technologies. Um, and as a result of that, it's obvious that they are gearing up to be major partakers in the digital uh, age. But there's a lot that still needs to be done. Um, and for that, we believe that um, our government and other stakeholders should do more to ensure that um, members of our youth can uh, really truly become part of this digital revolution. Looking at the continent's uh, digital ecosystem, would you say our productivity matches our consumption? Unfortunately, the answer to that is no. Today, we are mainly consumers of digital technologies. We do not produce much at all. And the one for this year was a marvel. There were lots of new technologies that were being executed, especially digital you know, technology, consumer-based digital technology. And as I was telling somebody the other day, to me it was like if us Africans went to the innovation house of the world and we were allowed to peek through the window pane to see much of what was happening, but we are not part of it. Um, but the good news is that the 2015 CES, um, Africa has been promised through Digital Africa. No, we have not been doing much, but the potential is there. Africa is awakening, and more and more you know, people now want to uh, do stuff in the um, digital ecosystem. So I believe that uh, we're going to see a lot more uh, uh, participation from, the, from Africa. And it's also part of the reason why uh, would some of us want something to be done about it. Mm -hmm.